Ana Marquez with DRB Media Communications, Digital News, and Danny Barrera has a story. Mike Hollier, Democratic candidate for Lieutenant Governor of Texas, was at the Midland International Air and Spaceport to launch his property tax and educational reform plans. He said that you can't talk about public education without talking about property taxes. Um, the reason why property taxes are going up as they are is because the state is withdrawing support for public education, so don't get mad at your local school board. Uh, it's policies in Austin that have resulted in higher property taxes, and we cannot sustain higher property taxes. We really need to see property taxes go the other direction. A fact that appears on Colliers for Lieutenant Governor website says that Republicans led by Dan Patrick have been using runaway property taxes intended for public schools as being used for corporate tax breaks. My job as Lieutenant Governor, and I've looked at it from an accountant's perspective, is to find the money. And the first place we turn, in my opinion, is to close the loophole that allows the owners of the largest commercial industrial properties to underpay their taxes as required in the Texas Constitution, the quantum of which is uh, estimated in 2006 to be f uh, $4 billion a year. Uh, inflation would suggest it's $5 billion a year. Property taxes will increase in 2018 and will have a major impact on property owners. I'm a homeowner. I'm well aware that my property taxes will, uh, for fiscal year 2018, are, uh, have increased $1,500. Uh, my salary is what it is. Uh, I am now looking for a second job, a part-time job, to be able to supplement that increase. Education was the second topic of discussion. People that attended this campaign stop are retired teachers, agree that standardized testing is not good for the students and parents, and it has a negative effect on overall learning. I think mandated testing overall is poorly done here. I, I've had three children. I, I still currently, my youngest is fifth grade and he's also in the dyslexia program. If he doesn't pass this STAR test, they will try to retain him in fifth grade. We do have to measure and it's sophisticated stuff, but what I want is the educators to decide, people who've actually taught, who understand how education works, how children learn, what's the best ways to measure progress, let them redesign the system. Those in attendance at this campaign stop seem very hopeful that Mike Collier will be elected Democratic Texas Lieutenant Governor and to bring changes to the property tax and to education. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Follow us, DRB Media Communications, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and now on DannyVisionEntertainment.com. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Viridiana Marquez.